Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have a brand new episode in our card spotlight series in which I look at a card that I feel is underplayed or underappreciated in Commander and discuss its merits. But before we do that, just a quick reminder to please click subscribe if you enjoy these videos. It's the only way the YouTube algorithm really notices me and we're currently growing the channel and it helps me a lot. Much appreciated. And today we're going to be talking about Vat of Rebirth, an uncommon from Phyrexia or will be one. And if you don't know what Vat of Rebirth is, for one black, it's an artifact that says, whenever another artifact or creature you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put an oiled counter on Vat of Rebirth. And for two colorless and one black, and tap, remove four oil counters from Vat of Rebirth, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, activate only as a sorcery. So this is a card that I've seen very little talk about since Phyrexia or will be one came out, but I think it's actually a surprisingly strong card. I think it's kind of understandable that there hasn't been much mention of it since Phyrexia All Will Be One is an absolute powerhouse of a set with incredible cards across all rarities but that being said this is still a very powerful effect. In the right deck this does a pretty decent recurring nightmare impression and that card is absolutely bonkers and banned in commander let's not forget. Obviously it's not as powerful as recurring nightmare but if you build your deck in the right way this can actually do a lot of work and can recur a creature every single turn. The crucial thing here is it's going to trigger on any artifact or creature you control not only creatures. That's important because there's been a lot of support in the last few sets for treasures and treasures work spectacularly well with this. This goes in any deck that has a strong treasure sub theme I think. Particularly one in which you have creatures with good enter the battlefield effects. This card's best friend for example is Ruthless Technomancer which is just going to combo so nicely with this by killing something giving you a bunch of treasures that you can then sacrifice to bring that thing back either with Ruthless Technomancer or with Vat of Rebirth. It's just very solid. But outside of treasure synergies and treasure decks, this is also really good in any deck that is looking for its own creatures to die. It doesn't have any stipulation of non-tokens, so it can work really well in an aristocrat deck or even in an aggro deck that's looking to swarm opponents with lots of small token creatures. If any amount of creatures are dying, then this goes up in value massively. I think the best fit for this card is definitely aristocrats just because you can actually keep sacrificing the creature that you want to react animate every turn and keep getting that ETB effect over and over. So it would be really good, for example, in a deck that wants to be casting Grey Merchant of Asphodel over and over from the graveyard. And if you have something like Pitiless Plunderer out, it's very, very easy to do so because all of those treasures that you're making are also helping fuel this by putting counters on it. Outside of Aristocrats though, it can also be very good in any Proliferate deck. If you have a Proliferate deck with a high creature count, this can return a creature to the battlefield basically every turn, which is again amazing value for a one mana artifact. So it's just a card that sticks around, nobody's really going to waste removal on early, and it's just going to keep recurring your best creature turn after turn after turn from your graveyard. I think that deserves a long hard look to see what decks it fits into, and definitely do not overlook this card next time you're building a deck. So there you have it, that has been our card spotlight for today. What are your thoughts on this card? Let me know in the comments section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care. Woo!